Now we move on to Paul Moulton from Isle of Man Television. Good afternoon, Paul. Fast am I. Good afternoon, Chief Minister. Um, you put some graphics on, which we don't, by the way, see on our, our Zoom version, but it, apparently it showed the airport uh, in the main concourse is going to have these testing areas put in. I, I don't know, because I haven't seen it. Can you confirm you've now moved from the hangar to the main concourse, or was that just the way the graphics looked to the people watching at home who've contacted me? David, would you take that, please? Yeah, I'll take it, Paul. That is where the vaccination hub was decided to be. Um, It will be separated off. Uh, We will get the photos circulated to the media. They will be going out, so don't worry. You will have access to them to see. Um, And that is where it was intended to be when we did the build. Initially, there was talk um, when we very first started talking about hub at the airport, which seems a lifetime ago now, but was probably about five, six weeks ago. We were talking about potentially looking at other options on the airport estate, but the one that was settled from the moment the project was designed was in using that space in the main concourse. There is more than enough space to do it and we've been able to get the full 10 cubicles that we wanted out of that space. This seems very late in the day. I mean, I was in Guernsey in the summer and they were building theirs then. Are you happy with the speed of this? Yes, because all of our hubs, as I said at the briefing on Monday in the piece where I did the sort of frequently asked questions around vaccine piece, is the hubs are coinciding with the ramp up of us receiving orders of the vaccine. They are designed to come online as our delivery increases. We can build wonderful hubs maybe even a month ago, but they wouldn't be being used because we still need to receive the orders and supply of the vaccine. So all of the hubs are strategically timed to come online as our supply of vaccine increases in line with the orders received. And no more update on Ramsey at the minute then? No, no, that will be, um, as was said again at the last briefing, Ramsey will be looking to bring online in February. There are several um, sites that are actually viable for that. Um, As soon as we've decided which site best suits it from both an infection control and clinical point of view, then I will update the public. But the important thing to note is that we are committed to a hub in the north as well. Okay. now you promised us a dashboard for all the information about being broken down a bit more. And I know looking at Jersey today, they really do give you a lot of information there. You're not there with us yet we, we don't get as much information as maybe we were hoping to and obviously supplies uh, you no know, mention that in your speeches today we keep hearing that you're not getting what you want well, no, 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 we're not saying we're not getting what we want from the supplies. We are getting supplies based, as we should be, on our level of population. That's how it works. We receive 0.13% of uh, the UK's orders because that is our size of population. As I've explained before, this is a brand new vaccine. It has to be manufactured from scratch by the manufacturers. So the supply, as you would expect with anything that's starting off from scratch, starts off steady and then builds over a period of time as the manufacturers gear themselves up to produce. So as the orders into the UK build between now and September, with increasing orders in February and March, that is also what we will see as well. That's not something new. That's not a disruption to supply. That was always the case. In relation to the in relation to the other um, topic, which sorry, Paul, just remind me what was your other point. <laughs> I'm looking up. I'm sorry. While you're doing that, I was looking up what Jersey is doing. I mean, sorry. So I, I don't know what you've, you, you've actually missed out on my, my question. Um, it was more about the dashboard and getting all the information and have you got enough? Yeah, that was. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. I know I, I've actually, you can't remember what it was, but I can, Paul. I've just remembered <laughs> it. Um, it was relation to the actual stats and putting up more yes, around the yes. vaccine. Um, that has been designed up, and I would like to say thanks to you very much to the comms division and government IT that has been designing this and putting a lot of work into it. Um, we hope to have it live before the end of this week, or in the very worst scenario, it will be live um, before the uh, at the start of next week, and hopefully at Monday's briefing, I'll be able to give people a website address that they can go to to dig into data as much as they like. Okay, because obviously... Thank you very much, Paul. Now we move on to Helen. 